It was an American comedian called Fred Allen who once said, I'd rather have a full bottle in front of me than a full frontal lobotomy. And I know how he feels. But perhaps the more important point is how to get into that full bottle in front of you. So I thought I'd do a quick comparison between five different types of corkscrew. A cork off, if you like. Now, I think a corkscrew needs to have three main qualities. Of course, it needs to be able to get the cork out easily. It also has to be easy to store and not take up too much space in the kitchen drawer. And finally, it has to add to the theatre of opening a nice bottle of wine. It should make the host look like a seasoned sommelier. I'm going to give each of these corkscrews points out of 10. So I'm going to start with a very traditional waiter's friend corkscrew. This one's made by a company called Pultex, which I'm reliably informed by a very thirsty friend of mine is one of the best. It's called the Toledo and it costs about £40. Pultex does sell other versions without the nice wooden handle for about half the price. The most important thing about a waiter's friend is that it has a hinged double lever, which allows you to pull the cork out in two steps. This one also has a useful foil cutter. So I'm going to give the Pultex 10 points for being small and easy to store, 8 points for ease of use, and 10 points for looking the part. Grand total of 28. Next we have the Le Creuset lever corkscrew. Actually, this is an old one made by Scruple before it was bought by Le Creuset. They cost about £90, which it's a lot for a corkscrew, but it is a lovely piece of engineering. And it's very clever too, the way it ejects the cork you've just pulled. But my God, it's overkill. It's a bit like using a Massey Ferguson combine harvester to mow your lawn. That said, I do think it's the best at opening a bottle. So I'll give it 10 points for that, uh, zero for being easy to store, and I guess I'll give it about a seven for theatre. Total 17 points. Next up, I've got a battery powered corkscrew, which I found on Amazon the other day called a Uimart. It costs about 20 quid, and the first question I asked myself was why? What on earth is the justification for electrifying the job of opening a wine bottle? But then I realised it's very specifically designed for bed-bound elderly arthritic alcoholics who need to fill up their nasogastric feeding bag without the nurse seeing. For that purpose, I'll give it a clear 30 points. But for anyone else though, zero. It's a total waste of the earth's precious resources. Then we have another corkscrew uh, from Le Creuset, this one called the Classic. This one really annoyed me when it arrived. Just look at all this unnecessary plastic packaging. I mean, really, who needs a display case for a plastic corkscrew? It's not the bloody Nefertiti bust. Anyway, I'm going to give it five for being easy to store as long as you don't use the case, ten for ease of opening, and five for theatre, a total of 20. Finally, I've got a rather interesting pump action corkscrew, except it doesn't have a screw, but you get what I mean. It's made by a company called Fowong, and you can buy them on Amazon for 14 pounds, or a bit under actually. Now, it takes up about the same amount of space as a screw pull, so I'm gonna give it a five for that, then I need to give it a score for its ease of use and another for how it adds to my street cred as a polished dinner party host. Um, yeah, I'm not sure whether I want to give that a 10 or a naught for theatre. Either way, it's the hardest to use, so it gets a zero for that. And even if I give it 10 for theatre, it's still going to come in joint last place with the battery powered thing. Of the rest, in third place, it's the Le Creuset Lever Arch with 17 points. In second place, it's the Le Creuset Classic with 20 points. But the clear winner is the traditional Pultex Waiter's Friend. If, like me, your friends are all raging alcoholics, you might like to share this with them. Otherwise, till the next time, I've been Arlo Guthrie. 
Bye-bye.